Hi folks, I'm glad you're all here today. Thank you very much for joining me. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Yeah, thank you for joining me. Another earthquake there in Idaho. Smith Ferry, a magnitude 3.8. They've been having a lot of earthquakes ever since they had that. Um, what was it? The 4.9, which was on February 26th. This was along, or is along, what they call the Long Valley Fault System. It's been reactivated recently, more than likely because of plate te te tectonics. It's also associated with the uh, Snake River Plateau down over here, which is all associated with the Yellowstone area. This earthquake only happened maybe about 45 minutes ago as I'm making this video. 26 people so far have sent in reports to USGS Did You Feel It website. They gave it an intensity level of 4. I want to show you this. I often talk about how USGS downgrades the earthquakes. Um, USGS would say it was an intensity level 3. But the sent in reports to USGS, they gave it an intensity level of 4. Which means to them, it felt like a magnitude 3. Felt indoors by many people, outdoors by a few at night. Some may have been woken up. Dishes, windows, doors were rattling. Automobiles would have been rocking no um, noticeably. But USGS said it was only a 3, which was a 2.5. Yeah, like I said, they downgrade a lot of these earthquakes. This here is the felt map that USGS puts up. So we got intensity level four by cascade. Um, intensity level three there. Intensity level three. Intensity level four, a little bit farther north. Mm, Donnelly intensity level two. McCall intensity level three. The farthest report south looks like Boise, Idaho. Intensity level 3. That's a long ways to be feeling the earthquake. This here is the spectrogram of that earthquake as it came in at Moose Creek, Idaho, uh, which is there at Yellowstone. Um, they didn't fudge about the size of the earthquake. Yeah, in fact, it is a magnitude 3.8. Let's take a look at the seismic signature. Yeah, it's got a a long P wave on it. Let me bring it over. See that? That's the P wave. The first um, wave of the earthquake. And yeah, it looks like all fault movement. Well, no. Right here, it did slosh the uh, caldera around. Look at that. Okay. Yeah. That's harmonic tremors. Yeah. And then the beginning of it. Let's make that bigger. Yeah, same thing. Okay. No one sent in felt reports to EMSC, but they did do that here on Volcano Discovery. Um, it says very weak, shaking, horizontal, sideways. And um, they give their address there in Idaho. Another one said shaking and rattling, light shaking and vibration. Uh, Consul, Idaho, weak shaking. Um, intensity level three sitting in or on a bar stool in the kitchen felt the shake and rattle in the light fixture. Now this one comes from Cascade light shaking, rattling, vibrating. Um, yeah, intensity level four. Looks like most of the people said that the shaking lasted about two and a half seconds. So up to the north, that is Lake Cascade. And then the recent earthquake, I did post that. I don't put them all on here, but that's the location of it for the 3.8. Did you feel this earthquake? If so, please put your comments down below. What did it feel like? What direction did it feel like the motion was? Um, how did your pets react? Did you have any Disney dizziness before the earthquake or afterwards? Yeah, please share that information with all of us. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will talk to you later. 
God bless you all. Bye.